Hey everybody, I am here with the Saska sisters. Do you want to introduce yourselves so we can the, the folks at home can tell you all apart? What Do you want to guess which one is which? No. <laughs> I like thinking of you as a singular entity. We are a singular entity. Like the entity. Borg. We, you know, <laughs> we share a hive mind. We're like the phalanx bodies. that way. We yeah. are. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. I'm Jen Saska. And I'm Sylvia Saska. And, and we're, we're the, the Twisted, Twisted Twins. Twins. Nice, right? First that, time that we ever did even, it. That was first time. We did good, right? That was awesome. That was <laughs> awesome. So, all right. So, you guys are here for Ceno Evil 2. Hell yeah. Um, yes, sir. Now, what was the big draw for you guys in doing Ceno Evil 2? You were coming off of American Mary, which, if you guys haven't seen that, you have to watch it. It is awesome. Two words, body modification. Okay? It's great. Um, what what was the what was the big draw for you to want to do uh, uh, a follow up to a film uh, called Cena Weevil where spoiler but the bad guy died at the end of it. What? Nobody told. Oh no! Uh, we need to reshoot uh, everything. Oh no! Oh no! Well, we consider ourselves the fan directors, and if we weren't huge WWE fans, there's no way in hell we would have done Cena Weevil too. But we are huge fans of the WWE, and we felt that. Ceno Evil 1 fell a little short from creating Jacob as the horror icon that he deserves to be. So we've rectified that in the sequel. Right. Now, um, for, for, for you, did you think that the, uh, um, you know, what, what was kind of the, the big challenge in, in, uh, in, in kind of giving Jacob Goodnight, first of all, that is an awesome name, Jacob Goodnight, like right? a new kind of, uh, I don't know, new reasons to kill in this one. Well, if you think about it, his, he died at the first one, but so did his mom, that overbearing mother. So now he's, you know, just a single guy figuring out how to do homicide. On Tinder. Yeah, why, why, <laughs> would, why would he kill people by himself, you know? Right. He gets a lot of, you know, knife penetration. Not the type of penetration for a new dating man normally, but, you know, right. he gets away with a lot of stuff in this. <laughs> okay. And he's dealing with all that repression from an overbearing religious mother. So there, that plays into it, too. He's very psychologically damaged. Now, how was it working with Kane? Terrible. Yeah. Terrible. Just a nightmare. He is a horrible human being. He hit us all the time. No, well, we started watching <laughs> WWE when Glenn Kane got introduced, so we he was very nice to work with us because we fangirled all over him all the time. But he works hard. He's he's really strong. Like, he could kill us all. Like, we were sitting with our stunt coordinator, Kamani Smith, and we'd watch him do things, and we'd be like, if he hated us, we would all be dead right now. Right. So we just tried to keep him from feeling that way. Yeah, it took four guys to bring in this metal slab, and at one scene, Glenn tips it over with one arm, and then we're like, oh, we need the, the team to bring it back in. He just leans over. This girl's? There you go. And we're like, oh. Glenn, yeah. you're so strong. <laughs> I used to be stronger. What? How? Were you the Hulk? <laughs> now, we're going uh, to go to a uh, question from Facebook. Nice. What can we expect to see in See No Evil 2? Well, at the end, oh, wait. <laughs> oh, they almost got us. They, oh, Facebook. Almost, oh, you wacky social media people. <laughs> Did, now, it, there's got to be, like, you know, what can you tell us about the plot? What can we expect from the plot in this one? Because, again, he died at the, the end of the first one, so I, I can't can at least I, reveal. I, I honestly cannot tell you how he comes back. I can tell you he gets a real fight for his money. We give him three Scream Queens to go against. Uh, Danielle Harris, who's been fighting oh, guys yeah. like Oh, Kane. she's amazing. She, she's a real-life Amazon. Like, if a guy was chasing me, I would go to Danielle Harris's <laughs> house and be like, Danielle, it's going <laughs> down. Liam Neeson. Be like, right oh, house, right? way <laughs> tougher than Liam Neeson. <laughs> way tougher. <laughs> way <laughs> tougher. And then we brought, bring American Mary back, Catherine Isabel. And we did so much in American Mary with her. So in this one, you see in a way that you've never seen her before. She is so insanely stupidly funny in this and it's nice to have the hot chick be the funny one in it yeah. and then we have Shalane Simmons from um, uh, Dale, Tucker and Dale versus Evil and the right. Final Destination series uh, and blondes don't usually make it very far in these kind of movies so she's a little bit of a red herring in there like oh All right. All are they right. going to kill those up. other two and it, so it, the question is, who is the final girl in this movie? Can, can, oh, I'm sorry. No, guys. I was going to say, it's bigger, it's badder, and it's way bloodier than the other one. And we don't just do the eye stuff. We're creative yeah. girls. We kill people. There's one kill in the film that's never been done ever in any horror movie. Oh and we shot God. it on the Phantom, so it's in slow motion, so you actually <laughs> feel this person die. It's so oh disgusting, but beautiful. It's yeah. like, that's horrible, but I can't look away. Yeah. Uh, oh, now... 
was there a, um, I think you just answered my next question. I was going to say, was there a particular technical sequence that was oh, challenging? Yeah. And I, that does sound like it, but was there any other ones? I mean, because that, that is kind of part of the uh, horror filmmaking is coming up with new and inventive ways yeah. To, yeah. to show stuff that we have seen before, but you, you're creating suspense and tension. So we besides that particular kill, can you tell us about some of the other kind of more technical innovations maybe that you were doing? Well, we have an homage to true romance. You know that oh, uh, yeah, yeah. The Gandolfini, our cat fight? Yeah. We decided to actually show what would happen if someone went face to face with Glenn, <laughs> Kane, Jacob, good night. And um, yeah. they fare about as well as you would guess someone would. And it was no. really important for us to create kills that as a horror fan ourselves, one horror fan, the two of us. Yeah, it's just one entity. <laughs> when you Again, see the board. someone yeah. do something stupid, it bugs us. There are no yeah. stupid, like, oh, nobody would do that moments in Sino Evil 2. It's yeah. a lot of out of nowhere. Have you, are you a, ga are you a gamer? Hi, Jan. I, I, I'm more of an old school gamer, but give us an example. Of Resident maybe some Evil of the Nemesis. Okay, all right, so you've got... So, Jacob Goodnight is Nemesis. You never know where he is. Once he gets up, the entire film, you're like, I hope he's not bleeping around the corner. Well, uh, let me let me throw out a speculative question so that the internet can go, uh, you know, loopy over this. If they came to you and said, Hey, look, you know, uh, we're rebooting Resident Evil uh, film franchise, would you would you take that? Would you jump for that? Absolutely, absolutely. So you you heard it here. We're gonna get this started. <laughs> the Sasuke sisters, Resident Evil. Um, all right, let's tell. We're we're gonna close up here. So tell folks when can they expect to see See No Evil Two? When does this air? Because they're gonna announce it at the panel. Oh, it's a it's a it's super a super secret, it's a secret and have to find oh, out tonight. Well, all right, well follow. Give them your Twitter handle so they can uh, keep a track on of when you will say. It'll be Twisted underscore Twins and at WWE Studios. <laughs> Thank you so much, folks, for coming by, and uh, we'll see you at the party later see on. See you at the party. See you at the party. Thanks for watching, guys. Back to you.